What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Seth, and today we're going to be playing the one-shot Resident Evil 2 demo that you can actually pick up not only on Steam, but on consoles as well. You are going to have an unlimited number of continues and saves and stuff like that. You can essentially just keep playing it over and over and over for a total time of 30 minutes. And once that timer ends up reaching zero, that's it. You can't play it anymore. However, there are workarounds to this. You could just create a new account on consoles or a new account on Steam or PC or anything like that, which obviously is something that's a little bit too crazy. Resident Evil 2 was the original Resident Evil that I played as a little kid. Like I was, I was a stupid little kid. I didn't even know anything about video games. And I actually beat this game on the PlayStation X or PlayStation 1. Now, before we get into it, I do want to point out some of the graphical uh, options that we have here because I think that this is done superbly. Uh, but the one thing that I thought was really, really important and worth pointing out is that you can turn off all of the stupid things like motion blur you can get off. I don't want that on my video games. Same with depth of field, lens distortion. I don't like that either. That's absolutely disgusting. Film noise, all these things that are just trying to emulate a real life camera, which arguably is going to end up looking really really good in a survival horror game like this but i don't care i you know enough enough of that Ooh, oh no look out zombies hello is anybody here is anyone there i'll shoot you i'll shoot whoever's here man like that statue see that was just a warning shot what is this ammo oh great they keep <gasps> I'm actually very surprised about that, that they're keeping the old clunky uh, survival inventory system. Dude, it's one zombie. You can do it, man. No! Okay, here we've got like our little safe because we've got a limited amount of inventory space and then we can end up storing stuff. Can we store this? Yes, we can store items in our inventory uh, or in our safe. So we'd have to come to this thing anytime we need to use it. Uh, this is also the save points, which in the full game, of course, is going to end up being limited saves. I, I sh probably shouldn't be getting distracted by random things. You know, they really shouldn't call this sprinting. Like, that's just him walking. What the? I don't know what the puzzle is. This is just like the old game. It's just as cryptic, too. Now, the other thing, too, is if you look up any footage of the old Resident Evil, it was, uh, oh, we don't have a key. It was pretty old school, man. Like, you'd have very set camera angles, uh, not to mention just having to go actually, like, through loading screens and the like every time you would end up going through a door. Aha! There we go. Now we're getting onto something. This is what I was supposed to be doing the whole time. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, don't do it. Don't do it, man. No, don't do it. Oh my gosh. Okay, well that suddenly just turned into a horror game, like just right away. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh jeez. Huh. 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 Oh, there's something locked in that room? Oh my goodness. I get scared too easily by these games, man, but this is really sick. I'm actually really digging this. You got this. It's so like, it's like the gamma's too high in this game or something. Like, I can't really see. I don't know why it's like that. That's a zombie. Well, better make sure. He's faking it. He's totally faking it, man. He's gonna like get up and grab me. Oh, hey, we got more ammo off of him. Good, because I just wasted it. Can I squeeze through here? Yeah, I can. Okay, I just gotta hold this button here. Come on, dude. There we go. Yeah, use two hands instead of just one. There you go, buddy. Oh, that doesn't look good. There's so much Kool-Aid over there, it's insane. Oh. Hello? Is somebody in here? <laughs> oh, jeez. Flooded toilet. I really like the graphics in this game. It's really, really tight. I can't see my reflection though, so now we at least know immediately that we're a vampire and that's the plot twist of the game. Let's head on over to this hallway of Kool-Aid. Hey, which one of you guys are faking? Jesus. Which one of you guys are faking, huh? Let me just make sure. Uh -oh. He's moving. I don't trust them, man. Hurry! What? I'm coming, buddy! 
I'll free okay. you. <laughs> yes. Please. Give me your hand. Help me. Yeah, it's okay, buddy. Oh, some guy on the other side's being a total jerk. He's pouring Kool-Aid all over him, man. Uh, officer's notebook. Uh, goddess statue, the medallion symbols, something or rather. We don't know what those are, but the goddess statue is tied to it. And that'll end up getting us into question mark and then the parking lot and the way out. Well, that's going to help us out in the main area. Anyways, just make sure he's not going to turn into a zombie. Hey. What the? What the? Our first encounter! That's right! I am much more incompetent than my friend that was behind me. Oh, why are you not dead yet? Jesus Louise, it really is like the old game. These guys just take like a bazillion bullets to die. Like, we may as well... Whoa! 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 Hey, get out of here! This is my house! How many shots does it take man alive? We're out of ammo already. I hear more zombies. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Huh? Okay. Huh? Aha! They're everywhere. There's so many of them. Ow! No! I missed! You guys faking? You faking it? Huh? I hear more of them. Aha! I knew you were here, what? Chongo! Stupid idiot janitor. Can I close the door? Because I know there's more zombies coming behind me. I can hear them. Wooden boards. What is that for? A sturdy piece of wood can be used to board up windows. Perfect for creeping the riffraff out. I guess we're supposed to just use it later at some, like, some crazy key item or something. Come on, dude. Dude, it's okay. There was literally, like, no zombies behind us. No, there was nothing behind me. He can literally bite me and turn me into a zombie any minute. Hello. No. Am I though? Thanks. Uh, until you turn to a zombie. Yeah. Take my Kool-Aid hands. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. This is taking up my demo time. If you see one of those things, you do not hesitate. It's okay, man, I don't. Combat knife, equip with a combat knife by pressing space to get ready and then slashing. Gonna be used to counter attack uh, by pressing space when you are caught by an enemy and can only be retrieved once you defeat them. Oh, I see. So if you get caught and they're grabbing you, you can put the knife in the zombie and then you literally have to defeat them in order to end up, uh... What? Oh, I got hold space like an idiot. Okay, that's kind of weird. I should be able to combine it with my gun and then have a knife gun. Okay, I want to see, uh, there's the lion. Does it have the crown at all? Something about a lion, a crown, and a unicorn. Two hours later. And then this is just uh, the ram was one of them. Okay, uh, I don't know how that worked, but whatever, I'll take it. Lion medallion. Ew! We need three medallions? Well, hopefully this will help us out somewhat by putting the one in this thing. Whoa. So Elliot was right. Uh-huh. Yeah, but the passage isn't open yet. I don't know where we were supposed to get the other pieces. Aha, we can use the trusty knife to get rid of the tape, even though I could have literally just used my nails. Not how I imagined my first day. This is his first day? Oh, great. Well, that's a lot more Kool-Aid again. You know what that means. Dark hallway and, yep. That's a zombie. Ha! He's gonna get up, isn't he? No, he's not a zombie. What, why was he looking at that? Oh gosh. Oh look, we could board up this window. Why would I want to do that? I don't know. Confiscated items. Ah, that would be a beautiful area to end up exploring. Okay, you know what? This, this, I, I don't like this. I'm gonna use this. There you go. That ought to protect my back. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep on walking down the hallway and it didn't matter that I protected that other window because this one's going to be blocked by this guy. Eh, whatever. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's coming in all right. There we go, there we go, there we go. There you go. All right, well, at least they're stupid. Because Jiminy Crockett, huh? Weapons, locker, keycard. Ooh, that sounds good. Records of evidence. 
Uh, there's a little too much here, considering that we're probably almost done with this demo. It's just gonna cut us short, and we're not going to be able to, uh, we're not gonna be able to see anything. <laughs> Records room, safety deposit, dark room, west office, interrogation, observation. Where, where's the, uh, weapons office that we got the key for? Maybe that's on, like, the second floor, because that was only the first floor that right there. What is this? Oh, really? We can just go outside here? Whatever. Ah. Hey, man. You a zombie? Or are you a person? Well, he said not to hesitate, so... There you go, tons of fun. Just go to sleep forever. Oh, he was going for the candy. Man, that's so mean that I went and attacked him. Gunpowder. What? How does that help me? <laughs> like, seriously. Use this of gunpowder. Oh, thank you. Uh, handgun ammo is two gunpowder. Shotgun ammo is gunpowder with high-grade gunpowder. Oh, because you can combine items, right? Aha! I knew it! You were too suspicious! Is he invincible while he's in this animation or something? Ah! Why isn't he staying down? So many bullets! Man alive, and our knife is about to break now? Oh gosh, I don't know the combination. Official report. Are there numbers in here? Ah! What are you doing in here, man? You weren't here two seconds ago. Come on. Ha ha! Oh, is he done? Is that already it? All right. Well, if I hear any more noises and rustling around, then we know what's what. I don't know where. I don't know where the safe combination is, dude. Blah! Blah! I shot you the moment I came in this room, you cheapskate! Jeez Louise, we're running low on ammo here, man. That was, that was actually, like, genuine scared. My gosh. Yeah! What? Yeah! Guys, ah, biting me! Ah. I'm low on ammo, dude. It's not fair that you're fighting me when I have no ammo. You take like a bazillion bullets each. What the? I don't know the numbers to this. Is this all this game is? It's just numbers? Oh, which one do we want? I see, there's a uh, gunpowder, there's a knife, there's whatever that thing is. It's like a film for uh, saving our progress. 109, huh? Oh, hey, this is where we get to use this key card. What are you giving me? <gasps> yes! Yes! 203. Let's take 203. That looks like something interesting. Uh, Where's the number two? I can't press it. We need to find the button. <laughs> of course. Of course, there's spare keys somewhere. Get! That's rude. You're not supposed to be crawling around like that, dude. Oh, great. We got another one coming through the window. Whatever. You know what? I don't even care. Bring it on, man. Those are metal bars. You'll never be able to break through. <laughs> In fact, you, you go ahead. You try to break in. Here we go. Break through oh. that, buddy. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then for some reason, green herbs with he which heal you in this game for some reason. I don't know why. Where are you? Huh? Medical benefits of herbs. I mean, I quite literally already just ate it, so it's fine. Oh, look, we can't save. Right, because if we die, we can just respawn. Aha, the dark room. What is this? What is that? Oh, I'm supposed to put a photo in there that I don't have? Oh, more flowers. Delicious. What's wrong with our character that he's eating all of them? Film contains evidence. Do not leave. There was film, I think, in um, one of those lockers, wasn't there? Combine it with that one. Then we got that. Combine it with that. There we go. We're doing good as far as our ammo is concerned. Okay, I like it. Let's get a move on here. You go ahead, Zombert. You keep on banging on that window, it's not gonna do it. Oh, gosh, no. I knew it! I knew you were, Teddy! Yes, run. What? Hello there. What? Who's talking? Was it you? Did that zombie just speak English to me? Is there an easy mode in this game? So that I can actually, you know, survive and not, like, waste all of my ammo? I mean, it's not like these guys are inherently difficult or anything, but jeez Louise, it certainly is just taking everything out of me to use all this ammo, okay. That looks like an area we can't go in yet. Hey! What are you doing hiding in there, snake? 
Probably waiting for the next Metal Gear to be developed, right? Well, it's not gonna happen anymore because Kojima ain't here. There was a combination lock that we couldn't do anything with. More shotgun ammo. I just want to go shoot some things. This is like the most inconvenient, like, place ever. Like, it's like all these zombies are going around and while that's happening, some jerk is just kind of wandering through, like, this area, like, hiding plants everywhere and taking like pieces off of doors and keyboards and stuff all, all these things that you have to get to and it's like this little dumb leprechaun who's just moving all these pieces around like hey if a zombie apocalypse ever happens these people are gonna be screwed because they're gonna be searching for the most common tools okay that didn't trick me Take that weird uh, thing on the desk that was trying to scare me. Let's just keep on moving, man. What in the? Okay. I was hoping we wouldn't fight one of those guys. Oh, wait, more boards, who cares? Come on, lick a tongue. That's okay. Where is he, man? I'm freaking out. Cause they have it all like locked up. C4, I can't activate that with anything. I almost thought that would work. Some guy's scribblings. Hip pouch. <gasps> that gives us more inventory space. Heck yeah, dude. I'm totally down for that, even though this demo is about to end any moment now. This is the most hidden door I've ever seen. What the? Oh. Hello, hey, zombie. It's Marvin. I need you back here ASAP. What? No, I don't have enough time for you, Marvin. I hope that exit secretly is going to bring me back to you because I literally don't have the time to do it. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, that's a lot of zombies. Three, four, five, six. Ah! I can take the ladder. What a thrill. Okay, okay. How do I do this then? Can I jump in this game? Seriously? No, I can't jump? I mean, he runs like a snail. How, why would I expect him to be able to do something as common as jump, right? Go, 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 Leon. Go, Leon, go. I know that all these other zombies are gonna wake up off the ground here. Four, five, six. Okay, anyways, there's one behind me. I don't have that item. That that item. Stay back. You got weird hair, dude. You have, I've already shot a couple times, so you should be almost dead. The one beside me is getting back up too. Stay down. Oh my gosh. Why are you invincible? And now I'm panicking, so I'm missing. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. 30 minutes played. Oh, <laughs> right when it was getting interesting too. Uh, I don't know if I'll end up getting the full game. If I would, I would do a series, but honestly, I kind of liked the fact that the demo was just as short as it was because the full game obviously would be a lot longer than that and just as cryptic, which cryptic games don't really balance well with me because, uh, I mean, you see the way that I kind of approach these games is I skip a lot of the text and uh, talking and stuff like that. That was getting intense, man. Like I could have kept playing. That was that was pretty good. If you know what you're doing, I've seen people speed running this. Uh, well, I haven't actually watched it because I didn't want spoilers. I'm gonna watch it after this. But people have sped uh, sped through this demo in like three or four minutes or something like that. So it's definitely fairly short if you know what you're doing, and probably if you're skipping fighting all the zombies and just you know, go right for the exit. But in either case, thanks for watching, everybody. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, sub, hit that notification bell if you want to support me. You can always sponsor the YouTube channel. Buy some of the merch, which is in the description. Or if you don't have any money, but you still want to help me out, check the links down below to Gawkbox, which is a way you can donate to me for free by playing phone games for a few minutes. Sign on and stay up, everybody.